video i have just uh, uploaded a video on sn1 and sn2 differences you know very well and now it's time to discuss about stereochemistry in sn1 and sn2 reactions so when we talk about sn1 reaction we all know that sn1 carbocation intermediate is formed i mean sn1 mechanism goes through carbocation intermediate i have taken a secondary haloalkane as an example for both sn1 and sn2 reactions because you know secondary is the only haloalkane which undergoes both sn1 and sn2 mechanisms so for this you see i have taken different reactions this is direct solvolysis means solvent itself acts as nucleophile so what is the nucleophile and we know in sn1 mechanism weak nucleophile is there polar protic solvent it is so carbocation formation takes place easily so carbocation is the intermediate here bromide is the leaving group that we know very well so now this carbocation is achiral because it is planar like this it is planar so when nucleophile approaches this it can attack from front side as well as from back side because it is planar so in this planar arrangement the attack is possible from both uh, front side as well as back side so front side one gives the configuration which is similar to the substrate okay the nucleophile is in the place of leaving group and back side attack gives the isomer which is opposite to the substrate you see oh group is present opposite to the bromine that is leaving group so this particular this particular configuration is retention i mean configuration retention configuration and here inversion configuration it means in sn1 mechanism both retention and inversion takes place so that's why both the products are formed in equal yields i mean 50 percent retention and 50 percent uh, inversion takes place if it is plus suppose if it is plus it is minus and vice versa it is r it is s it means 50 percent dextron levo isomers are formed or 50 percent uh, r and 50 percent s 50 percent dextro 50 percent levo what do you call that mixture that is called rhythmic mixture so in sn1 mechanism when you take a chiral center haloalkane with uh, optical activity the product is always racemic mixture so it means two products are formed in equal amounts so this reaction is non stereo selective when you very well in stereo selective reactions unequal amounts of products are formed and one of the products is formed in major amount but this one you see equal amounts of products are formed so it is not stereo selective stereo selectivity is related to products and stereo specific you see it is not uh, stereo specific because you take dextro or levo any isomer you take product is always racemic mixture so with different isomer same product is formed it is again non stereo specific stereo specificity is related to reactants stereo selectivity is re related to products so when different isomers of same compound different stereo isomers of same compound give different products then we say that reaction is stereo specific but here you take r or s anything the product is racemic mixture okay because of 50 percent back side attack and 50 percent front side attack so this sn1 reaction is non-stereo selective and non-stereo specific okay for competitive you have to highlight this point so when it comes to stereochemistry in sn2 we know in sn2 back side attack takes place transition state is formed it is again a chiral we say sp2 na? it is sp2 a chiral and in the first step it gives that product but you see carefully in this both front side and back side attacks are possible and generally in any chemical reaction we cannot concentrate on uh, transition state transition state has the fleeting arrangement it is even less stable than reaction intermediate okay it is even more sh short lived than this so when you talk about this so this one to this one it is a single step process so attack takes place exclusively from back side there is no chance of front side attack in sn2 mechanism okay so when you take plus or minus any isomer a single product is formed only single product there is no chance of another product so sn2 is typically stereo select 
because 100 percent product formation takes place so inversion takes place here the product is formed with inverted configuration inversion takes place in sn2 so this is stereoselective only single product is formed suppose if two products are formed one is 95 percent another one is five percent that is also stereoselective one should be the major but a single product is formed it is no doubt stereoselective selective selective and uh, stereo specificity you see this one okay suppose this is dextro suppose okay and it gives some isomer okay that may be dextro or levo because we can't strictly say that in inversion dextro should be levo r becomes s because it depends on priority of leaving group and uh, nucleophile if nucleophile and leaving group have same priority then we say that r should be s s should be r plus should be minus minus should be plus so sometimes priority may change so every time we can't say that r should be s or s should be s s should be r so anyway product formation took place here with inverted configuration so attack is from back side and one isomer gives one product another isomer i mean this is a chiral compound chiral compound means two or uh, two isomers are possible one is dextro another one is levo or we can say that one is s another one is r so r gives one product means s gives another product definitely okay so if it is dextro it gives this product if it is levo it gives another product so when you take different isomers of uh, this halo alkane i mean uh, optical isomers they are stereomers means optical isomers so enantiomers of this one gives different products if one gives dextro another gives levo okay because of inverted configuration so it means when we take different reactants different products are formed so sn2 is stereo specific in nature so sn1 is non stereo selective and non stereo specific sn2 is stereo selective and stereo specific stereo selectivity is totally products related stereo specificity is totally reactant related okay